Automation and AI have been threatening jobs in many industries, but there's one you might not have seen coming, race car driver. Even race cars are going autonomous, and they're currently racing on one of America's most iconic tracks. Brian Sullivan is live at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with more. Brian, I've been saying for years that NASCAR should do this. They should let EVs race conventional cars, race autonomous cars. I love the idea. I think it could actually save the industry. I'll stop talking, and I want to hear what you have to say about this. Well, I, listen, as a, as a semi, you know, professional racer myself, I might disagree. I like being in the car, even if the accidents hurt worse. This is the Indy Autonomous Challenge. This is amazing. This is the, and even if you don't care about car racing, this is the future of cars, of driving, of technology. And you got, here's one of the cars, okay? So we'll tell you, zoom in. Look at that. This is Caltech's car. Cal Berkeley was just out on the track. They broke down. Something went wrong. The car is kind of limping along here. 12 universities around the world competing for a $1 million prize. You've got, you got, I know it's a market day. Look, you got Cisco on the car. You got Luminar. Luminar makes the LIDAR, laser radar, Kelly, that helps us drive. What happens here with these cars? Anything that you've got in your own car, Kelly, seatbelts, rearview mirror, anti-lock brakes, all that was developed on the racetrack and then brought to Detroit and put in our cars, the same thing is gonna happen here. And this challenge on its third year now, 12 schools around the world competing for a $1 million prize, bragging rights, Kelly, and no doubt, the PhDs that are standing behind us from UVA is here, Virginia Tech, where are you? UVA is here. <laughs> the PhDs that are here making this work, no doubt are gonna be some of the women and men that create the technology that literally drive the future. These are the best of the best. So I think it would just be interesting, Brian, I know safety is an issue, but let's see a gasoline powered car up against an EV, up against a Waymo. You know what I'm saying? Like you could actually bring yep. real Look. competition and a real race back to these sports. This is cool. Stay on me. This the UC Berkeley car got running again. This is a real Indy car. Delara chassis. Look, no driver. Look at that. Look at <laughs> There's no driver know. in there. There's, this is not. This is not it's Kelly. Kind of this is not along. remote. Yeah. I want to be clear. I know it had a problem. This is not remote control. There's not a human, like controlling like a video game. This is literally the software, the AI brain, left, drove around, had some kind of problem, but because the computer ain't talking to me, I don't know what it is. So Need this is not chief. like yeah. some remote control video game. There's no remote control. This is a software program developed by the schools that drive the car on its own. It's so a great idea. Imagine Waymo going 180 miles an hour. We're going to be here all day, and uh, I'll try to tweet out. I know it's a, of course, the more, whenever the more interesting story you have is, the market <laughs> goes down. Well, if it's only you know. a 1% <laughs> garden variety sell-off, and you are right, this is the future. I love seeing the investment. In fact, the colleges are involved, too. Um, I would just love to see these, these all race one another uh, and see who wins. Brian, thank you very much. I would even root for UVA. I would even root for UVA in this situation. <laughs> so kind.